Hey guys, it's Tanya from TCB Cards. Thanks so much for joining me today. The video tutorial I have today is for a color challenge card that I designed um, from the color challenge with my team. The colors used are Shaded Spruce, Mint Macaron, So Saffron, that's the Shella right here, and of course Whisper White. So these are the four cards that I was for colors I was challenged to use and this is the card that I came up with. I really like these colors together and I actually thought that um, coming up with a design would be a little bit easier but I had a little bit of a hard time getting started but once I decided on Painted Harvest as my stamp set that I was going to use the card ended up coming together pretty easily. So this is the stamp set right here. I just love the stamp set. It is in um, the annual catalog. Let me show you what that looks like. This is our annual catalog right here. And you will find the Painted Harvest stamp set right here on page 139. And you can see all the pieces to it. It does coordinate with the leaf punch, which you will see in just a little bit because we're gonna use that as well today. It is a photopolymer stamp, and um, it is a two-step um, stamp, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Um, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you also do not have the annual catalog, um, and you would like one, please contact me and let me know that, and I would be glad to get one to you. All right, first of all, we're gonna start with the shaded spruce piece. This is gonna be our base of our card. So we're going to fold that right in half. And if you are wondering about dimensions, um, all you have to do is go over to my website, tcbcards.com, and you will find this card. There should be a link in the description of this video, and that'll take you right to it so that you can see all the measurements. And um, this is the insert. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue. I love to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on the inside. And this is the reason I like the Tombow. You can move it around just a little bit. And then when you've got it where you want it, put it down and it's good to go. It's not going anywhere. All right, the next piece is the Mint Macron, and I have already run it through the corrugated um, embossing folder through the Big Shot, and that's what this is right here. And you can see how I ran it through, and then that's what it came out as. It looks like a piece of cardboard now. And I'm going to layer that right here on the front of this card. I'm just gonna put a little bit more Tombow. And we're gonna line that up. Make sure I've got it where I want it. Press it down a little bit. All right, the next piece we're going to do is this piece right here. This is a piece of um, DSP, the Wood Texture DSP. Um, it does have two sides to it. I'm going to use this piece right here. And I'm going to use the sentiment, I am thankful for you. And I'm going to stamp that with the shaded spruce ink pad. And I have already put, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like, a piece of foam under my mat, this piece of foam right here so that when I stamp down, I'll get a good, clean image. Um, with the photopolymer stamp sets, um, I like to use that, especially with the type of table I'm using. Um, it just stamps much better with that little bit of give um, with the foam because my, the table I'm using has no, no give in it at all. So I like to line this up on my grid paper. So make sure I get a good, straight image. Just going to get a little ink on that. And then I'm gonna line it up on the left side and go straight down, straight up. 
And there we go. Now the I'm thankful for you sentiment, um, of course, could be used as a thank you card, but it also could be a birthday. And if you um, put a little birthday sentiment or write a birthday note inside with your birthday wishes, I still think that makes a great uh, birthday card um, because you are thankful for the person that you're sending your uh, birthday card to. All right, we can go ahead and glue this right here in the middle. I'm gonna put some more liquid glue here. And it does not take much of the liquid glue, so always be careful when you use it. You don't want to get a glob, because then when you do press it down, it might come out, come out of the edges. Although it does dry clear, you still don't want that big globby mess. All right, now we are ready for the leaves, and this is where the two-step stamping comes in. For the leaves, we're gonna use the Mint Macron stamp pad and Whisper White. I've got just two scrap pieces here. And what I'm going to do, this there's a, one image is a little more solid than the other. You can see that. So I'm gonna start with the more solid piece and I'm going to actually stamp off, which means I'm gonna give it a little bit of ink here. And then I'm gonna stamp it one time there Oops, I missed my foam. So I'm gonna do that one more time. So I can make sure I get a good stamping off. So press it down there and then straight down, straight up. And then the next one, I am not going to uh, stamp this one off. I'm gonna stamp this one straight. Just wanna make sure I get it lined up and then straight down straight up and look at that this looks so cool I love how it gives it a 3d look and then we are going to use this is the leaf punch I was telling you about and we are going to so I'm gonna to have to cut a little bit of this corner off so that I can fit it all the way down. There we go. And I'm gonna line that up and get it to where I want it and then there we go, it's ready. Now we are gonna do two of these, but I went ahead and did one earlier. So I've already got my two pieces, so we won't take the time right now to do that again. All right, now we're ready for our flower. It also is a two stamp set. So we are gonna take another piece of white scrap and you'll see here, this is the more solid image and this one's the less solid. It's got a little more detail to it than this one. We are going to use um, So Saffron for that. And move this one off. All right, again, I'm going to ink this up real well. And then I am going to stamp this off too. And then stamp it again in the middle of the white piece. Just like that. And then again, with the second stamp. And this time I am not going to stamp off. I'm just going to line it up, press down, and there we go. Isn't that cool? I just love how, how real it looks. All right, we are also going to put um, some mint macaron in the middle. And I'm going to stamp that off. Oops, I didn't get a good one either. There we go. And now, stamp that right down in the middle. There we go. And then I have these little dots that I'm going to go full strength with the Mint Macron and just put them throughout the middle. I'll do 
one more. There we go. All right. Now what I did with this is I actually uh, did what we call fussy cutting. And fussy cutting does not mean that I'm going to cut right on the line of every piece of the, this leaf, um, the flower petals. I'm going to just kind of go around it. And if you notice, I kind of turn my paper more than I do my scissors. But I'm going to do that all the way around. And I have actually gone ahead and done that. And I have it already cut out. So as you can see, it's not right up on the edges. I leave a little white space. Um, but it, it's ready to go. And it didn't take much time at all. So now we are ready to go ahead and put our flower and our leaves on our card. And I'm going to actually use some Stampin' Dimensionals for this. Sorry, I thought I had these out and I didn't. All right, here we go. So what I'm gonna do is turn this over and put some dimensionals. Probably about four, just like that. And then I'm going to actually use a glue dot to put my leaves on. Okay. I'm going to pull off a glue dot and let's see where I want to put that flower, I mean that leaf. I'm going to put one right there. And then we'll take another glue dot, pull it off right there. And since that one's going to be here, I want that one to be down here. I'm going to put that one there. And then I'll turn it over, line up my leaf where I want it. And then this one, right there. And then I can go ahead and take the back off the dimensionals and line that up. Stick it down, and there we go. It makes a really quick and easy card. It didn't take much time at all, um, but yet it's, um, a great birthday card, thank you card, um, whatever you need it to be, or even I'm um, thinking about you. Well, thanks for joining me today. Um, you can, if you're watching me from our YouTube ch YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you are not watching me from YouTube, don't forget that I do have a YouTube channel, and you can find me also on my website tcbcards.com or Facebook as well. Thanks and have a blessed day.